Well, our team coverage continues now with Monica Garcia. She's standing by with more on what's shaping up to really be a historic weather event all across the state. She's hanging out at a grocery store where I'm guessing, Monica, people are trying to stock up before this thing hits. Yeah, store preparedness is happening right here. We're at uh, the west side of town. This is Bash's. They were so kind enough to let us in. Uh, you can see, according to the cashiers I talked to, this is abnormally, Angie, you said abnormally packed. Yeah, this is five times beyond busier than we've ever been for a big storm coming into Flagstaff. What are people buying? Beer and wine. <laughs> Beer. Beer and wine, folks. Okay, so the Red Cross says, please go beyond that. As you prepare for the storm, they say things like bread, milk, cat, what else? Ice cream. Ice cream. Some people would say ice cream, but it's so darn cold outside. Well, but it makes your body heat up and it makes you warmer. Okay. My biology teacher taught me that. <laughs> I like that. Okay, so you're one of the folks. I asked people in line. A lot of people were saying, especially the college, college students, eh. It's okay, we don't need to get anything, but you were one of the first people to tell me, yes, I came out here to get supplies. What'd you get? Well, we got just a few things like eggs, milk. Can we peek? Bread, yeah. Okay, so I see yeah. some bread. Oh, you weren't kidding, I see some cookies, eggs. Uh, yeah. Why did you decide to heed the warning and just be prepared? Well, because we moved out to Williams about uh, 13 years ago, and that's about 20, 30 miles away to the west, and it's gonna get kind of hairy out there, so that we know. Better. Better pick it up. Yeah, she's lived here for 26 years. Thank you so much. I'll let you go because I know your ice cream is melty. Thank you. You be safe as well. So that's Red Cross's recommendation. They say, folks, heed the warning. Take a listen to what Frank, he's the director from Red Cross, has to say to people, not just people living here in Flagstaff, but also folks traveling down the highway. The people in Flagstaff, but also travelers on the highway. Let's say I-40 shuts down, which has happened in the past. They need to go somewhere, and, they, and many can't afford either a hotel or if all the hotels are booked, they need a place to go. Okay, so listen up. Folks here in Flagstaff, when things do get bagged, because everybody's saying they will, when all those feet of snow come through, there are going to be two locations out here in Flagstaff on both sides of town that will be opening two shelters. Now, they haven't given the, uh, the address out for that yet, but they said they will be able to hold hundreds of people. There they'll have places to sleep, food, and water, whatever you need to kind of hunker down until the storm essentially uh, blows through and the ice starts to melt. For more information, you need to go to the Red Cross's website website that's when they will officially list that but as of yet they're just getting everything prepared we caught up at the red cross they're uh, loading up water and just other supplies inside the trailers of course we'll be out here at bashes we'll bring you the very latest as soon as we get that live in flagstaff and monica garcia back to you okay monica thanks you know that that i-17 i-40 corridor yeah. up there a dot is say if you can at all avoid being yeah. on the road starting later tonight and all day tomorrow and even into mm -hmm. friday just just be care careful. Yeah, not worth it. Yeah, not yep. worth it.